Welcome to the ends of the Earth. For 30 million years, the North and South Poles have been kingdoms of ice and snow. But today, there is nowhere on Earth more at risk from climate change. The Antarctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. Arctic temperatures are rising even faster. The melting of the poles is already changing our world. We see it in rising seas, worsening weather, and big shifts in where plants, animals, and people can thrive. Scientists are in a race against time to understand what is happening at the poles and help the world change the story. Starting in 2019, the crew of the icebreaker Polar Stern trapped their ship in Arctic ice for a whole year. 100 researchers from Germany's Alfred Wegener Institute labored through the cold and darkness, tracking changes in the ice, ocean, and atmosphere. At the other end of the Earth, researchers for the Australian Antarctic program voyage aboard an icebreaker and floating laboratory called Noina. Their work is critical in a place where massive shelves of ice grow weaker by the year, raising the risk they will plunge into the ocean and boost sea level. Polar research faces one more big challenge. The Polar Stern's year in the ice produced more than 90,000 data points. A single voyage of the Noina creates 160 trillion bytes of data. In the race against time, no one can afford to wait months for ships to return to port with information. They need it now. From the ends of the Earth, the data makes its way home by satellite. But the poles have long been a bad place for satellite service. For decades, most satellites have circled the Earth above the equator. Because the Earth is curved, radio waves reach the poles from the side, not overhead. Passing through all that air weakens the signal, and a hill or iceberg in the wrong place blocks it completely. Today, a new generation of satellites, including Starlink and OneWeb, is covering the entire globe. But they are especially vulnerable to interference from bad weather, which is common at the ends of the Earth. A company called Speedcast has the answer. It combines satellite service from the equator with the new generation covering the poles. It takes a lot of smart engineering and advanced technology, but it makes sure that polar researchers are never out of touch. Every day, Speedcast can move 1,700 gigabytes of data from the Antarctic to Australia, enough for 1,500 high-definition movies. That keeps the vital data flowing and protects the health and morale of people working at the ends of the Earth. What do they think of the new service? In 2023, the Polar Stern plowed through thin ice all the way to the North Pole, and the captain announced their arrival by email. It was the ship's sixth visit to the Pole, he wrote, but the first one where he could tell the world about it as it happened. Space and satellite, the world's invisible, indispensable technologies. Brought to you by Space and Satellite Professionals International, with the support of Speedcast. Additional support provided by Artel.